Yeah. Welcome to another episode of I Am The Change Podcast, brought to you by DTR Incorporated, a nonprofit organization geared toward uplifting, inspiring, and empowering communities all over the world. I am Sharice, here with my amazing co-host, Jason Redman. Hey, Sharice, what's going on? Hi, Jason. How are you? Oh, man. Hey, it's a day of service. It's a day I, of service. Right, I know. You've been, you've been busy. I've been busy. I'm so happy to see you. A lot has happened since the last time we met. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, and look, one of our one of our guests, from my understanding, has had the baby. The baby yeah. is here. <laughs> so, is here. Not only is the baby here, what all have we happened since the last time I've seen you? So I've had a birthday. Our guests yep. had a birthday. We're actually a day apart. Yep. Oh, yep. Happy birthday, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm happy to have Crystal back, and she has baby Brielle with her. Oh, and right. so um, this is going to be interesting. It's, we're doing it for a couple of reasons. So when Crystal was here last, we talked about her business and mm -hmm. Diamond Elite um, All-Stars Cheering and her crafting, and she announced that she was um, with Child on that episode. And so fast forward and her baby is here. But what made her story about being with child interesting is she chose to be a single mom by choice. And so with that and sharing her story, she's gotten a lot of backlash. And so she, um, we, we talked and I was in, we both said, well, you should come back on and talk about the process and the why because i know a lot of people have the want to know the why um and we're gonna go from there so welcome back crystal hey, thanks for having me you know no problem no problem we're happy that you're here yeah. um just a heads up we may have one more co-host jump in um during the recording but we'll see but hey, do, you, um, do you have it on gallery so you can see everybody at one time i do all right so, so I have a bunch of questions, but go ahead, Sharice. I'll let you go first. Okay, so before um you got on and you know, before we started recording, Crystal was telling me her baby delivery story. And so <laughs> wow. we're gonna we're gonna just go back to that. And so Brielle has been making a fuss since since pre-arrival. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Right. And, and she's she's continuing to make a fun. She's a yes. diva in all aspects. In yeah, all diva. aspects, yes. So yes, we're talking about you. Yes. So let's talk about Brielle's arrival. Okay, so <laughs> so one, let me go back and explain. Um, two, I was on um kind of like modified bed rest because before I got pregnant with her, I had lost. Um, my son Hendricks due to incompetent cervix, which means your cervix just can't hold the pregnancy. So the whole time mm -hmm. of my pregnancy, they were like, oh, prepare 30 weeks, you're going to have the baby. 30 weeks. Um, and I got this thing called cerclage and stitched up my cervix to keep her in. Uh -huh. So that, sorry. So they were like, you know, she could come early. Um, so have everything ready, which I did. And, but I ended up making the, the stitch, my get my stitch out day of 36 weeks. And so they were like, what's the stitch come out? You're going to have her. Fast forward to right around 39 weeks. Um, I still have, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I woke up, um, I woke up one morning and I had like really bad contractions, but it was nothing like oh my gosh, let me head to the hospital. And the only reason I went to the hospital is because I was bleeding. And so if I hadn't went, I would have had her at home. <laughs> so when I got there, my friend took me, um, I got out of her car, my water broke, right? As soon as I stood up. <laughs> and um, the policeman, he wheeled me upstairs. Um, we got there at seven o'clock. It was shift change. So 
all the doctors uh-huh. were like in a hut, right, in a huddle. So they stuck me in the triage room. I was in there for like seven forty for like forty five minutes. So I didn't have an IV. I didn't have a bracelet. I didn't know who I was. N- nothing. It was just like we'll put you here. We'll come back. So all the while I'm in pain and I'm like, I need an epidural. Finally, the doctor comes in and was like, hey, what you in here for? And I'm like, I have a baby. Like, <laughs> And I mean, if looks could kill, my fuck? friend was like, the look you gave her. <laughs> like, cause I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> like, what? But anyway, the doctor checked me and she was like, uh, she's 10 centimeters. She's complete. And I'm like, oh, I'm in labor. She was like, no, honey, you're in delivery. And I was like, wait a minute. I can't get every girl. She was like, no and they were like fussing back and forth about you got to deliver here in the triage and the other doctor was like we can't deliver her here it's not a delivery room and they were like we got to figure it out so they like flew me down the hall put me into um a delivery room and she was born at 8 22 dang yeah (laughs) dang (laughs) i mean i was i was present when both my youngest were born my daughter came like can't okay, look at these split. So I can understand your your your, your I can understand the situation you was in because uh I don't know my wife was a trooper, but she was like, Hey, uh epidural, please. They was yes. like, nah, 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 you about to get this thing on natural pimp. We're like, no, 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 no. Yes. I was like, I need something. And they were like, honey, you 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 I didn't even you have an IV me. for them to even give me <laughs> So yeah. only you they can were like, for you. cheer you on. Yay. That's well, it. I had a doula. I had a doula that was supposed to help me through labor. She got there at like 810 and she was born at 822. So she just well, gave I mean, me the encouragement. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, push. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Wow. So <clears throat> um uh, I'm gonna ask the question. Mm-hmm. So you chose to be a single mom on purpose. Uh so you went to you went to, you know, you, you went to the five and dime and got to, you know, how where did you go? How did you determine, like, where did you go? How did you determine who, the, 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 the sperm for the baby? Like, how did you take me through that process? Yeah. So yeah. Um, what I did was I, um, well, first I contacted the, the clinic because I wanted to do IVF. Um, which is in vitro fertilization. And they gave me a list of sperm banks. Gotcha. Um, and so I went through all of the sperm banks. The difference with me is I have some, I was like CMV negative. And I guess I've been learning through TikTok. Um, that, I had to look it up because I watched your yeah, TikTok. Yeah, and I, had to look it up. It's a, it's I didn't a, know that people like adults have this virus. Me neither. That was the first time that I heard about it. And so they were like, you have to I'm have about it. today. So explain that to me. Um, well, it's a it's a form it's, of herpes. it's called cytomegalovirus. Yes. And some... so adults get it and, and they may not have symptoms, but it's just harboring in them. And yeah. so she was negative for it, which yeah. means she's never been exposed to it. Right. Okay. And mm-hmm. so that makes it really hard for Um, it was very hard for me to find a donor because one, I was looking for an African-American donor, um, of course, but they were slim anyway. And that's some of the backlash that I've been getting, um, because Mm -hmm. people were like, oh, you just wanted a a white baby and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, no, African-American men are not, aren't donating. And then on top of that, um, the CMV negative donors are even slimmer. (laughs) <laughs> so it took me about maybe a month or so to really narrow down what you know I was looking for because I was really discouraged because I wanted an African-American donor <laughs> so I finally had to be okay her donor um is um is Middle Eastern oh okay Middle Eastern is so I was trying to go Lebanese Lebanese yeah <laughs> so on on the profile, it says Arabian, Lebanese, and Canadian. He was born in Canada. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so I was look also looking for someone who didn't wasn't a carrier for a genet, you know, a genetic disorder. And that was kind of slim too, even though um a lot of the disorders were rare, I still didn't want I didn't want 
none on the list. <laughs> so he finally I found him and he was nice looking. They had baby pictures, they had adult pictures. So I was like, okay, he's nice looking. He was kind of brown skin. So I was like, okay, with with my melanin, his brownish tone. I said olive, and people were like, that's not a skin tone. So whatever. Brownish tone. I was like, <laughs> she'll get, you know, she'll have some melanin. She'll be light skin. She'll be light yeah. skin with white hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But olive okay. to me is a skin tone, like an uh, olive shade. That's what I thought too. I was like, I, olive I, I is a skin tone. Because a lot of like a lot of Italians are olive, and they yeah, and so, yeah. That's, yeah. So I'm like, okay. I, I, I don't, I don't, I go with it. I don't know what. <laughs> I go with it. <laughs> but it, but it's odd that, that you say a lot of African American men don't don't donate. I, I would have thought, but I, I guess you know, like, I guess it really just is. Um, I guess it would be kind of hard. I don't know. Right. Uh, I think it's too. I don't think they pay much from my understanding. I don't know how much um, they get paid, but from my understanding, they don't get paid much for it. But it costs a lot to get it. So I don't know why they're not paying them. And then two, um, they have to go through this extensive, extensive like um, screening to become mm -hmm. a donor and then it's like mental screenings the health screenings and all of that so it might just be too much it might it, it might be all the um all the extra work that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna get 40 dollars going in bam bam cool if not and that's probably what food. you know movies or things that make it seem like it's real easy to do mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah drop off a load for the <laughs> And keep it moving. They do a lot of <laughs> testing. Right. Yeah, just don't <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Welcome, Michael. Hello, you know, Michael. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Man, you, you missed miss your recent rare form. You're talking about drop off the boat. Really? <laughs> yeah, so, oh, man, you missed it. So oh, once, so once the once you picked your donor, how long was your process? for like going back into the clinic and implementation of everything? So once I, uh, well, I picked my donor first and, and they shipped that right away, but I went to New York to have um, them get my eggs out, which was October, 2021. Um, mm -hmm. And so they did that and I was going to um, get, once they mixed the sperm and the egg and created the embryos, I was going to do it um, that December. But then I was like, oh, it's Christmas. I, you know, and then my birthday, my 40th birthday was in January. So I wanted to live it up before okay. I got, you know, can't have a drink or nothing. So um, then it um, went to, I started in February, but then um, I ovulated early because you can't ovulate before they put it back into you. So I had to wait until um the end of March and that's when I started doing all the preparation and I transferred her on April 8th you gave birth April 8th oh no, no they tr they transferred the embryo into my uter uterus on April oh, 8th yeah, this is so much this is so, much. <laughs> <laughs> so with IVF they take the sperm and my egg and they I guess a test tube or petri dish whatever it is and mm. they make the embryos. So when I went in, they took out 10 of my eggs, but only four of them made it to like the little baby stage. And so they transferred one um, on April the 8th, which resulted to her. Because <laughs> you yeah. have had more than one implanted? I could have, but no, I won't have no twins. That ain't my ministry. <laughs> they wanted to, me too, because of my age. And then, um, yeah, because of my age, they were like, you know, what if, she, you know, that one doesn't make it, mm -hmm. you can have another one, but she made it, obviously, and uh, no, <laughs> I did the right thing, because I <laughs> feel like I would have had to. <laughs> wow. Man, listen, cool. this conversation would be so different. She'd be able to cry. Okay. She's enough. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I, I, that's that's interesting. So you said you had to go to New York. So was the donor in New York or was the donor? I don't even know where the donor lives. The um, bank is in California. So maybe 
He's over there. But I went to New York because um the clinic was the cheap on the cheaper side. My clinic oh. here in North Carolina was like twenty five thousand, and <laughs> yeah, no, I had it. So uh, <laughs> I went to New York because they offer payment plans too. So a lot of people on TikTok was like, "Oh, you financed your baby," and I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, I financed my son the whole life, you know, <laughs> food, clothes, everything. So I was yeah. like, yes, I financed my baby. Um, but they had payment plans and they were a little bit cheaper um, in New York. It was about um, 6500 there. So oh, I'll cheaper. be paying. I'll be paying for her for a while. But, okay. <laughs> you going to pay for it for the rest of your life? Yeah, I'm going to say yeah, one way or another. Absolutely. Yeah. One way or another. Wow. So... Because people have learned your story and the video that you posted on TikTok has blown up yes. like a, two million. <laughs> yeah, more than what you wow. definitely more than what you were expecting. Definitely. And <laughs> and you and I talked about what like how social media has just changed in like the last five years, mm -hmm. where we would have these groups or these blogs for, you know moms who want to do IVF and it would be like just a real intimate close group where social media wasn't involved mm -hmm. and now you have social media and all the social media trolls you've gotten positive feedback too but for yeah. everybody who was negative who don't who don't know or don't understand mm -hmm. and have so much to say and how that does affect you um because yeah. we said we're not gonna you know we're not gonna harbor on the negative right. but the social media platform also allows you to share your story mm -hmm. and to educate those because you do have some some women out there who said you know I appreciate your story because now you've made me feel better about going through this um, right. things like that so yes. which is which is really good so 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 question so like so when the baby gets older and yeah she asked hey who's my dad are you gonna tell her the, like, the process that you went through Absolutely. Um, somebody asked me that on TikTok too. I was like, I'm gonna tell her the truth. Honestly, mm -hmm. he um is a part of the program. Um, it's up to the donor, but when she turns 18, um, she could contact the sperm bank and get his information and contact him and you know, meet okay. him if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's dope. That's yeah. Dope. I've always, I've always wondered how they work, like. But some of them don't want to be, you know, they don't want to be, they don't want to meet. So it just depends. A lot of them will say they want to remain anonymous, but fortunately hers was like, it was okay. Gotcha. So does that, so when they say, when they remain anonymous, so let's say he does, he doesn't, he doesn't mind her contacting him. Like you can't come back and have damn child support. Like no, mm -mm. no, not on the contract specifically states so you cannot come back for you know child support or anything oh, that, okay. you know, okay. monetary. But she can definitely meet him, and you know, um, do you know sibling. if he? Because I mean, I I know people who have had their own family and mm -hmm. still were. Um, donors. Do mm -hmm. you know if he has like biological no, he, like children that he knows of? No, he doesn't. He was um he was younger. He was like a freshman in college. So, oh wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he hadn't had any any. He kids. ain't lived yet. <laughs> he ain't lived yet, right? He did live. He got that. He got, yeah, he you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but there were some that had kids, like. When I was going through, there oh, okay. was some that had like three kids and they were like, um, they wanted to, you know, donate to because maybe like somebody in his family couldn't have kids, you know, something like that. But there was there were some that were yeah. Their parents already. There were parents already. Okay. okay. Uh, so Michael, you came in right before right after I made my comment. So we were talking about the lack of African American donors. Mm, okay what, what's your take on that would you would you donate um no i would <laughs> i think we might have talked about this last time too um uh but nah because I, I couldn't I, I couldn't like donate and not be a part of a child's life like it's a possibility i could have a child 
Right. So it's like not not to be a part of a child's life. Like I don't know. I just couldn't. And then and like think, have kids out there. And, and I think not somebody be a part else of that life. somebody else I talked to said the same thing. Like they wouldn't yeah. donate because you know, just the thought of having a child out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what about you, Jason? What did you say? I didn't ask Jason. Oh, you didn't ask well, Jason? I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm married, so I I I, I, didn't get, I mean, I didn't hypothetically get speaking, if you were still a young Q, no, if I was, you if know, I was, at the HBCU. Hey, so <laughs> I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'd be I one been of them. around <laughs> Knoxville College. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, here you go. Here. Got one for you. Got one for you. Yeah. No, I, w- I would donate. I mean, these reasons I would donate because, one, they do give you a little money for it. And at the time, I probably would need the money. For whatever reason, but no, I mean, I, I would, I would, yeah. I really just do it for the money. I mean, but I, I'm like Mike. I, I wouldn't want to. I would want to know, like that child got to be 18 years old. They could contact me. Have you know, have a formal relationship. Um, and then you know, they might be like, "Why didn't you know, tomorrow?" And my biggest thing be like, "Well, I didn't know who, who, who the child I fathered." I mean, but but again, at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be anonymous. I would definitely want to be. Want to know who's who? And then just yeah. fill them in on my family tree and stuff like that. And, but yeah, know. yeah. If I did do it, I definitely would want to want to have that option open. You know, what I'm saying definitely. Yeah. yeah, but it'd be tough. I mean, like you donated. I mean, you were 18. You're 36 now, and it comes a little young. And tell me, hey, <laughs> like, what's up? Yeah. What's up, pops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're related. But I, just, I think that yeah. would be, <laughs> I mean, that would be one of them things you had to say, hey, um, when I was 18, I donated that to a sperm bank. And, um, mm-hmm. There's a possibility that I could have a child out there at some point in time. And yeah, you have to just tell the spouse. Do they get notifications like when they're. Um... Somebody asked me that, and I, I honestly don't know if they do um, get a notification. Um, but I have to report it. You know, I had to report my pregnancy to the bank and then okay. I had to report um, the birth. birth. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if they do, oh. like, or some yeah. of this, you know, like your specimen has been used and was successful just right. so they have a heads up so they can start putting on the calendar. In 18 years, <laughs> I may, look, I may get a phone call or some type right. of. But he <laughs> only has one other um, that has a reported pregnancy. Oh, so mm-hmm. she has a sibling out there. She does, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, they, did they make a situation where y'all could connect it? The, the mm-hmm. children? Yep. Okay, that's cool. Yep. That's cool. They oh, that's can dope. connect. Yep. I like that. Ooh. Well, like, technology something else. I know, right? I know, right? <clears throat> hey, look. I, tell you, now, I, I think what's, what's so impressive is the fact that you have the ability to, like, down the road, Hey, I got a family now. I don't, my only part would be like, I would feel like, hey, I didn't get a chance to help raise them. Yeah. yeah, I think that. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but once they hit like eighteen, they can develop. They still that they still developing. So you still have an opportunity to pour into them. But yeah, and I, and I, my hat goes off to you, man. You made a decision to do this by yourself. But, hey, yeah. I don't, be <laughs> and I think too. Yeah. I look at and I, and it, I'm sure it times have changed where when um, banks started, you know, they were for the married couple who j- couldn't conceive. Oh, and right, now, right. you know, luckily people's minds have opened up. Now you have same-sex couples who want children mm-hmm. and things like that. So that, you know, that affords them the opportunity to also experience, experience parenthood. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one thing when I was looking at the comments on your video that people don't look, they're they're so boxed in and haven't thought about all the other scenarios and all the outside of the box ideas where it's like, what if, you know, she went through the same avenue, but she had, you know, a same sex partner. Like, Mm -hmm. what's the difference? Is it just because you don't have another adult I mean I can speak for myself I have three kids and did I ever want to be a single parent no so Mm -hmm. but I mean we do it and but at least 
So for me to you, it is, you knew what you were signing up for. It's not like mm-hmm. you went in, you were in a relationship and they left you and you're like, dang, I wasn't planning on being a single mother. Like you right. knew from the jump, this, this is mm-hmm. what, this is what you're signing up for. Right. So. And I think the whole no, what, like, how can you do that? She's not going to have a father and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I mean, there's people out there who, have a father but don't have a father you okay. understand? <laughs> so, they'll be down the street from jokers and they don't they don't have a relationship okay so i'm like it doesn't matter you know yes we're not, beat up dads today. Yeah, we're, not we're just stating the facts jason i'm all for the fathers so we're not up dads. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm with jason matter of fact yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all are but, both great dads, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what we're I'm talking doing. about the ones that have decided not to be. Not Man, to be dads. Didn't y'all say earlier, don't, we're not going to focus on the negative? You're right. All right, let's not be negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm for the no. dad. But no, yeah. but I, I do I do concur with what you're saying. There are some some people grow up without uh, a male. Sometimes the, the, the person that is your biological father doesn't step up to the plate. But there's always somebody in the village that mm-hmm. that helps. So, and I and I think in this case, there'll be people that'll be stepping up in your life that'll be helping out. So, and I, yeah. and I pray that 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 does happen. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because it, it, this is this is one of the things like I've never heard anybody just doing this. Just bam, I'm gonna go just go to. It's a whole community out there. Hey, <laughs> hey. And I and I. <laughs> and I'm, I'm only gonna say it. Like, I, I I pray that everything and everything in that village works to the to the, to the blessing of that child. And at, this, at this point in time, it's all about the child. It's not about the parents anymore. It's about the child. Right. 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 Ooh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's beautiful. So are there support groups in your area? Um, not in my area, but mm-hmm. I am on Facebook. I'm in a lot of single mom. You know, I, I'm the one that I stay in is the IVF single mom. And then there are ones for brown skin. They call it mocha single moms. And so I get a lot of support from there. And it's crazy because those are people you just don't, you know, you don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the people that you do know and they don't give you the support. So, so. Gonna, so that's another question. So your your friend associate group, did you have a lot of a lot of naysayers? Um, I think so, but I don't think they said it to my like to me. Mm-hmm. Um, look, going through the process, there were some things that you know I would share, and you could tell you know how you share something with somebody, and they're just they they don't want to be negative, so they just kind of you know nod and smile, <laughs> and, oh, okay, you know, instead of being like, "Girl, you crazy," so. So yeah, I have one or two that have been really, really supportive mm-hmm. through this whole journey, and they're her godmothers. Okay. Oh yeah, she about to get healthy. She fight and sleep. She's yeah. sleepy and nosy, and she that's what she does. She she likes to fight to sleep. She don't want to go to sleep. She knows it. <laughs> this isn't your first time. This is your second child. My second, yes. Oh, you got a you got a built-in help and everything. You I do. And somebody mentioned that too. They were like, "Don't work your thirteen-year-old." I'm like, "I'm not working him." <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a big. Oh, he's a huge help, and he is so in love with her. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he's a he's a really big help. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's, that's a big. Yeah. He'll be a he'll be a what, he'll be eighteen when she turns five going to kindergarten. Yeah, he'll be going to college. She'll be going to kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Starting it all over. Starting it all over. Get one out the door and then gotta push the other one in. Yeah. So yeah. There we go. Fun times. <laughs> hey man, I I hey blessings to you. Right. Blessings to Absolutely. you. Hey, oh I, wow. I, I know. I mean, I'm excited. Yeah. Uh you know, I wanted a girl. I didn't know what I was gonna have. I wanted a girl. I got a girl. I mean, I'm you know You happy now. Yes. Definitely. Real happy. Yes. And it's crazy because I have three other like embryos that are mm-hmm. her siblings. And they're like, are you gonna come back for it? No, I'm like, absolutely not. No. So I don't know what they're gonna do with those because <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh wow. I'm done. 
So, Crystal, with the embryos that you have left, one thing I think I remember you mentioning in our first um, interview with you, you were able to know the sex of the babies pre implementation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, would you tell them to just randomly pick one and not tell you what they picked? I told them to pick the, so they grade them. Mm -hmm. like good fair and then like poor um so I had like two good and then I had one fair and one poor so I was like pick one of the good ones and you know because I didn't want to be like oh give me the girl give me one of the girls um because I had two girls two boys they didn't tell me which which one was which mm -hmm. I was like I didn't want to pick the girl and it'd be the poor one and then it didn't work so I was like just pick the best one the best looking one and you know imp implant that and I just prayed it was girl and it was so <laughs> <laughs> so Crystal cool. has a human baby doll because Crystal crafts like I mentioned earlier so mm -hmm. she has made matching bonnets for them she has her room theme is what sunflowers, right? Sunflowers. Mm -hmm. So in the hospital, they had matching sunflower outfits, like sunflower print outfits. The baby and Crystal had matching sunflower what? outfits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For her one month picture, she was a little sunflower. I mean, this is. <laughs> I look forward to just seeing what the outfits are going to be. Because she's screen pressing. So you know she got personalized onesies and t-shirts. Yes. Yep. 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 Tutus. <laughs> That's I'm cool. already planning the first birthday. She ain't need two months. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's anything like uh Bryce's birthday parties, her her first birthday is gonna be like over the, over the I mean Yes, because Bryce has had some great birthday parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have been able to go to a few of them. Bryce has had some great birthday parties. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you came to the uh, circus one. The circus one, I had one, a yeah. carousel. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, yeah. So. But, but, um, like, hey, man, I need, I need, I need some... Uh, I, think it, you get, I need some birthday parties. This thing is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yes. She she will do it. So you told them. So are they gonna like? Do they keep them frozen for like a certain period of time until mm -hmm. you're like a certain age? Or can you tell them now to discard them? And they're like, okay, yeah, will they? they keep, yeah, they will. Um, I they'll keep them free, keep them frozen for however long. Because there's people who have siblings that are 13 years apart. You know, they were in the yeah. So um, wow. I haven't quite decided what I wanted to do they were asking me to like donate to like another couple but then I was like but I was like I don't know because that's like part of me too you right. know so I'm not sure I can either donate them donate them to science or just discard them um I think the poor one I'll probably discard because I don't think it's gonna work anyway um but the other two I'm not sure yet uh I don't know, but they do keep them frozen for however long. So when they're frozen, it just it just, it, it stops the, the the maturation process of the important I guess I guess, well, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. They're already mm -hmm. embryo. They're already like babies. So yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Wow. What was that? I'm so silly. What was that movie? Look who's talking now. From back in the oh, day, you I think saw so. the, the whole process. Yes, yes. So yes. the sperm into the baby was yeah. like made it with the egg. Yeah, that's yes. all, that's all yeah. I'm thinking of with this. It's like this little this little swimmer in this petri dish. Swimmer, like, right? <laughs> but they show you like when I mean it's under the microscope, but they show you like how once they take the egg, the egg is like a grain of salt, and then mm -hmm. they inject the sperm like they take the one sperm and inject it with a little tube or whatever that little thing is and then they <laughs> yeah and then they show they'll show me um they showed me like each day it grew like the first day because it takes five days for it to become an actual embryo so you'll see it as just a bunch of cells and then it like goes to transforms <laughs> 
This is interesting. I should have paid more attention to science class, boy. This <laughs> yeah. This is here. Okay. Wow. So could you could you have uh so let's say they you could donate your eggs, could you donate your eggs? Would that be like you being a ser not a surrogate, but you just donating your donating your eggs to somebody that's wanting to well, be I wouldn't be donating my eggs. I'd be donating like her sibling. baby. Yeah, actual baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you could do but you could do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So is there a compensation for that? Or is it just out the goodness of your heart? Not me. Yeah, it'll be out the goodness of my heart. They would have to pay all the costs, you know. Um, and mm -hmm. then we would have to have like a lawyer. It's almost like an ad adoption. It's called embryo adoption. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. so, but would you make it so just say you decided to go that route? Would you then make it so the siblings would be able to meet each other? Yes. There is one lady I have been talking to. And I'm almost to the point where I'd be like, okay, I I'd let her because she um is a single mom too. She had kind of the similar story. She was in a relationship. Um, she got pregnant, lost the baby, but she's had like multiple miscarriages and she just wants, you know, she just wants one, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to, I'm praying on it, but yes, we would, you know, keep in contact. Because that means if you did that, that means you would eliminate all her costs of having her eggs extracted and going to find a donor and all that stuff. And see, because... she can't because she, something is wrong where she doesn't have like viable eggs. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. So she couldn't go wow. through the process anyway. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so she'd have, she'd have to get through like the embryo adoption. Mm, she would have to go through the embryo adoption. Yep. Uh, that would be kind of dope. Yeah. yeah, and I'm I'm kind of like how I mean she's not like I mean I don't know like I said I don't know the 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 sperm donor it would just be like you know part of me mm -hmm. so I think that was what was throwing me off at first because I'm like it's my child you know like it's my child but yeah yeah but I, I, I'm i thinking about helping helping her so that's nice yeah that's awesome girl that's a whole other TikTok folks will lose their mind I'm yeah mm -hmm. I'm not even about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look I don't had to cuss about three two three hours so I finally was like after those three I was like I'm not even gonna give the rest of them the, the energy negative, yeah because yeah. I did what I did I said what I said and that's it <laughs> so and I, and that's why I didn't understand the the all the extra questioning because to me the the video answered the question yeah the video was very self-explanatory very self-explanatory <laughs> I think it's just people being the world a mess. People be a mess. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'ma steal your line, Sharice. So yeah. normally we ask our not, not normally, we always ask our guests to give us uh, a tidbit of um something that the, the viewers can hang their hat on. So a little a little word of inspiration, uh word of encouragement. So give us so Crystal, give us a little something for the viewers out there that are watching. As far as if they were trying to go through this, anything, whatever, whatever. yeah, really um, something that they can hang their head on for this upcoming week. I, I would say, whatever your goals <laughs> are, don't just go for it. Like, if you're scared, it whether it's you want to be a single mom by choice or just if you want to start that business, just go for it. Don't listen to anybody else because they are not in your shoes. They don't pay your bills. <laughs> you go for it. And honestly, everything that I've gone through, I've gone through scared. I don't know how, what is going to come out on the other end. It's either going to sink. I'm either going to sink or swim, but I still do it. So mm -hmm. I just push through. So I'd same advice, whatever you want to do, do it. Don't worry about anybody else. You do it for yourself. Perfect. I love it. I yeah. love it. Michael, yeah. guess what? <laughs> What's you up? You go ahead and take us on out. <laughs> you don't want to keep doing it? You no, I'm so happy up. you're back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you did so well. Oh, man. All right. Um, well, I guess I'll take us out. <clears throat> well, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe. If you've been rocking with us so far, keep on keeping on. Because we have a lot more amazing guests and amazing episodes on this journey. I would like to thank uh, our amazing guests, um, Crystal, uh, 
was wonderful hearing your story. You're definitely brave. And um, I mean, I just wish you the best of luck um, with raising that beautiful little girl. Um, yeah, and I hope everything works out. Um, I also like to thank my two amazing co-hosts, uh, the lovely Mr. Reese Lovett and Mr. Jason Redman. <clears throat> um, thank you for joining us. And remember, our goal is not to be better than anybody, but together we can achieve better for everybody. Thank you. And have a good night. Good night. All right.